guys and welcome back to my channel um, this is a channel that I show my irregular choice collection of shoes and accessories so if this is for you I'd love to um, have you here and show you um, some of my collection if you are already here it's great to have you and I've got some exciting things to show you this week so first of all I normally have a wee chat with you tell you what's going on in the Robertson household so it's been a couple of weeks and if you remember from my last video I was getting ready to go back to work I was quite nervous but thinking that I was ready to go back um so what were the pros what were the cons the cons probably were that originally I was going to be going back on flexi furlough so um, there's two receptionists, me included, so I thought it'd be like doing half a week, half a week. Um, and then the government changed to extend the furlough. So in fact what happened was um, my colleague then went on furlough, which is quite right, because I'd got extra um, time off than she had, so it was quite right that she got furloughed. Um, so that meant I was back full time. So the cons probably for me was... It was a bit of a shock to my system because um, I was thinking, oh, yeah, I can build up having maybe three days back a week and build up to full time. But it was wham, um, straight in full time. But so that's the only con, really, that it was um, straight into full time. And believe me, I was so shattered. Um, <clears throat> it's busy at work, which I prefer because your days go quick. Um, but at the end of the night, I was like sitting on my sofa. I was like dead. Um, but this week, um, Tuesday, yeah, I felt on Tuesday. I thought, oh my god, I am not going to do the rest of the week. I couldn't believe it was only Tuesday. And then Wednesday was a bit, meh. and then Thursday, Friday, I got my second wind, and I was fine. Um, so they're the cons, but it's not really cons, really. Um, and the pros have been, I'm absolutely loving being back at work. I love seeing the patients again. I love the banter with the girls. Um, and it gives structure to my day. Um, you know, I, I didn't realise that I missed that. But I do, getting up, going to work, coming home. It's a structure to my day. And then that means you look forward to your weekends because you actually have a weekend. Um, yeah, so the pros far, far outweigh the cons. Um, I feel good that I'm earning my money because I always felt guilty. Not that you should feel guilty sitting at home because, you know, one, you're helping a company um, by keeping on the furlough scheme and you know you shouldn't feel guilty and um, but i did because i felt you know i was sat at home on my bum getting paid and others were working so it was so nice when i was putting my time sheet in going work 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 work, work. so that was really nice anyway that was that um today is freya's birthday um so i'm waiting for her to get up and then we can give her a presents um and she's going out with a friend um and then that's it. So let's get on to the shoes, which is what you're here for. So today I've got a low character heel, I've got a brogue, and I've got the bag that I've mentioned last week. So let's start with the low character heel. So these I wear for my work, and it's so nice being able to wear my shoes again. So fab. So, um, and that's the birthday girl just walked in. Um, just hold on. I just wish a happy birthday. <laughs> she just walked in. Um, so, oh my goodness, and now the phone's going. I just hold on. This never happens on professional video shoots, does it? Phones going, dogs barking. Anyway, so let's get back to the shoes. So these are a beautiful, beautiful, um, like a real green. I'm, I'm a real fan of green shoes absolutely i love green shoes um i think it's a really underestimated color i really do 
So these have this beautiful ribbon on the front to make them really pretty and they're covered in these green crystals everywhere on the inside absolutely sparkle and then the back's just a green metallic and then you've got this little cute character heel I got these really really cheap in the sale thanks lot is that it and they're just like a little heart with I want to say like an arrow going through it and a little smiley face so it means that you know if you can't do really high heels you can have little character interesting heels you know they cater for everybody um i as i say i wear these for work i've worn them you can see that i've worn them for for work um and I wear them all day and um no problems absolutely no problems so if you want to have a character heel and feel oh my god i couldn't do like alice or the deers or all these other high heels there are some there's ones with orange slices lemon slices you know really low character heels that you can you know take part in still be quirky um so they're those ones little lovely little character heels cute very cute <clears throat> so the next one i want to show you is the brogue now again it's a shoe that i wear at my work so they've got the typical brogue heel and this one has plain black at the back then you go into this gold and then there's like um like a plant glittery almost looks like wallpaper but you know um it's got leaves um both shoes are different as in the different parts of the material so they don't perfectly match um i could get you the other shoe because it's just here da, da, da. So the other shoe, as you see, doesn't perfectly match. If that bothers you, then obviously these are not for you um, because they are different shoes. And then they've got this beautiful fuchsia pink with this piercing out the front. But what fantastic brogues are they? And, you know, they look... I have black trousers in my... Um, uniform so they go great under my uniform really comfy obviously to they've not got any printing on the soles they're just a plain sole but absolutely fabulous and the last thing is the bag so let's do the bag so first of all the back <clears throat> And the back is like this velour material. It is this blue and it's got this gold going through it. So a nice plaid back. They've got this iridescent handle. And at the sides you've got this, you know, sequins that are reversible. So they're like silver um, or they're like this pinky whiter. Um, the handle, well I've used this bag, that's why the handle's um, actually on it. So you can either have it the iridescent way or you can have it the plaid way to match the back. So the bottom is that iridescent. There's no little feet on it. Um, inside, dun, dun, dun. trying to hide that so you can see what it is. And of course I've still got the stuffing in. But it's really just the pink gingham inside. It's quite soft material inside. And you've got the usual zip pocket and a pocket for your phone. This is the kind of bag I like from Irregular Choice. They do a bigger bag. I just don't like that. Um, so this is the kind of bag I like. So let's go to the front. Maybe had a wee glimpse there. And look at it. I think it's called my cup of tea. Well, maybe I've made that up. You know me for names. <laughs> you should know by now. So here we have all the things you'd want for a nice cup of tea. So you've got this fabulous jammy dodger. And there's the glittery jam in the middle. 
and you've got this edging in gold it just lifts it because when you walk about that just catches the light um and it's just fabulous then you've got your niece biscuit here and it's like two kinds of gold then you've got those pink wafers that everyone says they don't like and then when you start eating one you end up eating the whole packet maybe that's just me but anyway not sure what this is i think it's like a donut type thing because it's got the sprinkles got a bit of icing that looks like the jam and then you've got the ginger nut here and you've got the teapot the teapot's in this iridescent embroidered tea bottle and then you've got the cup of tea which is great and then you've got the clock so if i'm going to be ultra ultra <clears throat> um critical because I do love the bag, absolutely love it. I think the clock, they've kind of missed a trick. It's just very plain. I mean, everyone else is saying, well, yeah, well, there's everything else in the kitchen sinks there. But I think maybe they could have made glitter hands or whatever. I think that's quite plain, the clock. Um, but other than that, I absolutely love the biscuits they've chosen. The jammy dodger is fabulous. Um, absolutely love it. And it's a great size for me. You can get everything in that you want to get in um without you stuffing it so heavy that it it is you know you can't lift it and you do your neck or your back in so for me these kind of bags this style suit me i like the fact that you have that and then you have a little clip there so it's double safety um absolutely love it so that's it for this week I know it's been a couple of weeks and it may get like that that it's a couple of weeks just because it's more you know i'm working 40 hours a week and um, so when i get in i'm like Ugh. but um i've got some exciting christmas shoes there's a whole saga about the christmas shoes which i'll go into it in the next time hopefully i'll have the christmas tree up next time i film as well so um definitely christmas shoes and i've got another pair of green shoes actually green seems to be the thing so i'll see you um next time so stay regular don't follow the crowd and i'll see you again bye guys Bye guys!